chat GPT is terrifying. Um, is terrifying, and it is adding subtext to the writer's strike that's going on in Hollywood. Now, I know most of you don't give a crap about... Um, let me turn my computer down here so we're not making noise. Uh, but most of you don't care about the writer's strike, and nor should you. Okay? Um, but it has a lot of implications that I think is it's worth watching um, because ChatGPT is absolutely a tool that is going to be used in entertainment uh, across the board, books, screenplays, television shows. I mean, it's going to be very much used. It already is. Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot of unease in Hollywood, especially with writers. Um, currently, the Writers Guild of America is striking, um, and it's all about better pay. But the AI issue is looming because on one hand, this union is taking a really strong stand, <laughs> and so they're striking. And then you got this threat that never existed before. And, and if you're unfamiliar with ChatGPT, just give you 30 seconds of context. It is a free software now with artificial intelligence. And think of, it is, it is, it is unbelievably in, effective in going out and aggregating and pulling content and spitting it back out. Okay? I've tested it. So the other day I was messing around with it. And I said, um, I said something to the effect of, write me 1,500 words on the challenges of leadership in the voice of, and I picked a comedian, which I'm not going to get into because I wanted to see what happened. Oh, man. I got 1,500 words like that in the voice of this comedian. And I chose a comedian that's very salty. And I wanted to see, like, does it sound like this comedian? It blew my mind, Alex. So this has never existed before. So let's go back into the story in the context of Hollywood. So they quote Danny Strong, um, who is uh, the creator of two shows, Dope Sick, which I've never heard of, and Empire, which I have heard of. And he said, this is his quote, AI, artificial intelligence, as it relates to creating content, is terrifying. He says, I've seen some of ChatGPT's writing. And as of now... I'm not terrified because it's a terrible writer, but who knows that could change. So on one hand, he goes, it's terrifying, but right now I'm not actually terrified because the writing's not that good. I'll come back to that statement in a moment because it's really crucial. Uh, screenwriters are saying across the board, uh, there's no question that AI chatbots could be used to spit out a rough first draft, rough being the operating word based on my experience, uh, with a few simple prompts. Writers then could take what has been given to them and essentially become editors. And then they would be paid at a lower rate to essentially polish it up. Uh, the Writers Guild of America is obviously uh, active on this, and their president is a guy by the name of Michael Winship. And he said, we're not totally against AI. There are ways it can be useful, but too many people are using it against us and using it to create mediocrity. They're also in violation of copyright. And I think this is absolutely key. You've got some real copyright and plagiarism issues going on here. And so what I think, just as a guy who who, who does write his books and who comes up with his content, and I, I write my talks, good or bad, um, I read, I write, I'm coming up with stuff every day. Today's show... I came up with it. Do I use a writer? Yes, for research and polishing up because I speak into a recorder. She spits it back to me. Folks, so so I am admittedly here a purist. I believe in inspiration that comes from imagination. And uh, I don't respect people who don't create their own content. And yet they put themselves out there as a mouthpiece. I'm just going to tell you. I, and I didn't say I don't respect their, them as a person. But, but, you know, if someone is doing all your work for you and you are slapping your name on that content, I just got to tell you, as a guy who does it, I don't respect that. To me, that's an art form. It's not pure. That's all I'm saying. All right, enough of that. So the reality is, though, is I've messed around with it enough to go, all right, it can certainly formulate some ideas and angles, but it's not going to replace the human 
element, the human creative force behind what's really good content. No machine can do it. Can a machine borrow from other people's work? Yes, which is a form of plagiarism. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it affects script writers, uh, authors. It, it will be interesting in industries like movies and television. Okay, But let's look at Main Street. Let's get away from Hollywood and look at Main Street. Here's another story, Business Insider. Content writer says all of his clients replaced him with ChatGPT. His name is 34-year-old Eric Fine. He told the Washington Post that his largest client dropped him in March after it started using ChatGPT to write its content. Now, what type of content are we talking about here? Um, short blurbs for company websites, product descriptions, and marketing copy. So company XYZ hires a guy like this, and this happens all the time in America. And they go, we need you to write for this website, uh, product description, we've got a new product line, give us something, you know, give us three or four paragraphs, um, you know, give us 500 words. So give a short form, medium form, you know, maybe some long form, uh, marketing campaigns. So uh, advertising agencies are employing writers like this all the time. So this is real. This is Main Street. It's not Hollywood. So he had nine contracts doing this kind of work. And all of them canceled because they were like, look, you're charging us $60 an hour. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. So if he's spending 10 hours uh, on a weekly load, they're saving real money there. So they started using ChatGPT. All of them have stayed with ChatGPT except for one. The one came back and said it didn't sound like a human. Well, there you go. So again, it's going to come down to quality. Humans will always beat AI when it comes to creative elements. Don't worry about it.